<laughs> Merry Christmas! Well, hello! Welcome to my home for Christmas! The official house tour video for 2022 is here. I am so excited to have you guys with me for Christmas. This house, as you guys know, we bought about two years ago and we've done it two different ways for Christmas so far. The first year, I was pregnant and I had Sawyer. The second year, we had a completely different framework because we painted everything white. Now the third year, I've had another baby and I just had him four weeks ago. I really wanted to challenge myself by using kind of the same stuff, but trying to use it in a different way and make it feel fresh, make it feel new. And to be honest, I think that's kind of a bucket that everyone's in, right? Most of us don't buy all new, brand new Christmas decorations every year and do a brand new theme every year. The challenge for you guys is to try to identify what's different, because a lot of it's the same, but there's a lot that's different. There's small changes that make it feel different and fresh. So what do you notice that's different? Maybe it's something you remember from last year that I used in a different spot, or maybe it's a piece of furniture that isn't even Christmas related, but I used it in a different space in this house to make it feel new and different. Okay, so if you spot something, make sure you comment down below in the comment section. What else? Oh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe because we have a couple different videos coming out this year. Again, like I said, we're not doing a ton of Christmas videos because newborn life is crazy, but the ones that we are doing are gonna be so good. So you do not want to miss them. I'm excited for you guys to see those videos and just to get into the Christmas season because honestly, it's my favorite time of year. We decorate in October. So we have our Christmas decorations up for three months and everyone always asks me, do I hate it? No, I love it because I love Christmas time. Okay, enough talking. Let's get started. Let me take you into the office. Okay, so this year I decided to put a tree in this room. I wanted to put it in this room because as you guys could tell from walking in the side door, we didn't come through the front door, we came through the side door. And when you walk through the door off of our porch, it's like the first thing you see and it's so beautifully framed around our uh, French doors that lead into the office. And I actually love it. I love having a tree in here and I think it's so great. So I'm doing a whole video on how I used my old Christmas decorations and use them in a fresh new way to feel different, to save money, um, just to kind of look and provide a different vibe for Christmas. Stay tuned for those videos because as they come out, you're definitely gonna wanna watch them. I did include a new paper ornament, Modern Cottage. I'm gonna link everything from Modern Cottage, stuff from last year that she still has, a couple things from this year. So all the specifics, I am gonna put those links below if it is on her website. And if you're local in Tulsa, you can go by Modern Cottage. It's on Cherry Street if you wanna go shop her stuff. But cute little paper ornaments, wood, paper, and fabric. Those are my three textures. Here's the second question of the video. How many nativities do you spot in my house? Last year, I went nativity nuts. I love them, they're so cute, and they're so fun now with Sawyer because he knows baby Jesus. Where's baby Jesus? And then he says, mommy, daddy, scout. The lamb is always scout. <laughs> um, okay, so count the nativities, comment below. As we walk out of the office, into the dining room, we have a garland. You guys went nuts for these garlands last year. I linked them to a certain company. You sold them out several times. I have no affiliation with that brand. Well, I have really good news, and I'm praying that this is gonna be true for when this goes and gets uploaded. I found on Kirkland's website, they sell these for 50% less than the place that I found them last year. I bought these myself last year, and I could have saved a lot of money had I bought them at Kirkland's. So I'm gonna link Kirkland's website below. I hope that they still have them by the time you guys see this video. And if they have them, you should buy them because they're amazing and they're natural. And they're the, I ordered them from Kirkland to make sure they were the same and they are the exact same garland. So if you're interested in these particular ones, click the link below.
If you've seen my videos as of late, you'll notice we have a new dining set, which believe it or not, with this style Christmas decorations, I think looks so good. I had this made, custom made from my friends at Primrose. This is the Remington. I'm gonna take a seat here. And I love the dark wood mixed with the light wicker chairs and the light linen chairs. These roll. These chairs are from World Market. And the table, like I said, is from Primrose. And I'll link their website if you guys want any sort of table made. Um, they can make it really quick and they can you can choose your wood and your color and everything. So highly recommend them. But I love the tablescape this year. So I just did a really simple and organic garland, green garland. Now this particular garland, as you can see when you look up close, is a little bit different than what I have over the doorways. I got this at Modern Cottage um, and I love it. It's really thick and lush and it fills up a dining table, it fills up a credenza, it fills up, you could put it over a doorway if you wanted. I decorated it with these little white paper mache houses that I got last year. These bottle brush trees kind of lining the table as we go. And then these candlesticks with these uh, ribbed white candles that go up, I think are so fun. They are tall, but they're spread out enough. They're not bulky. So when you're sitting down for dinner, they're strategically placed. So they're in between people. They're not right in the middle where I'd want to be talking to somebody. And when I look to my left, my V, I can still see their heads, which is kind of the goal. And then even on the ends here, when you're looking down, they're very skinny. So they're not really in the way of you having a conversation with somebody, but you still have a beautifully decorated table. And it's simple. Like when you go to decorate for your holiday dinner, a garland, a string of beads, and some candlesticks. That's like the super basic level of what you could put on your table to make it feel festive. Okay, as we walk over this way, you'll notice we have a piece of furniture that we actually moved. This was in the living room. This is all of uh, Sawyer's toys. And we have our lovely Mr. Antler Deer Man. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. I love this guy. I think he's so sophisticated. I've used him in different places every year. Love him in front of the window. And I love all my little trees here. This one reminds me of a maple donut. But I kind of did a mixture of trees and wanted it to feel foresty in here. So we got some trees from the Target Dollar Store section that I got for Sawyer's birthday party last year. We have some paper trees from Modern Cottage. We have some maple donut trees. And we have some bottle brush trees. And we're good. Let every heart prepare him now this table used to be by the window. We moved it over here and we have a little vignette moment and we have another nativity. We have some height mixed with some trees. I went tree happy for Sawyer's birthday last year and all of these trees that you see over from Target last year. Of course, an anthropology candle because it smells so good. If you're local, this is a Magnolia soap candle. Doble candle is what this is called. You can get them in different shapes, different fragrances. You bring this this wood thing back in and they refill it for you year after year. It's a really fun thing and this one's in a Christmas tree form which I think is fun. Okay, and now in the entryway, we have a new addition. Look at the little baby bear. Oh. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? We have our second Christmas tree. We always put this tree in the entryway. I love this tree. It is just natural and organic and just like looks like we picked it up out of the forest and plopped it in our entryway. Now we used this garland again up the staircase and we did add some different bells this year. Look how fun this wood garland is. I got that from, Mag or from Modern Cottage and some different shaped bells. And then you'll notice we changed up our ribbons this year. So this is a little bit more of a glitzy um, structured ribbon. Last year we did more of like a linen organic ribbon. This one has like a gold lining finish on this on the ends. And then we added some bells in between each ribbon. It pulls in the color of the floors and the handrail really great. And also kind of the gold brass, um, antiqued brass finish of the mirror that we have. And I also can't forget to show you the record player. You know, 
I go back and forth. When you have young kids, you want it to be kid-friendly, right? You don't want it to be dangerous to them, but you also don't want to make it so they can like be throwing stuff everywhere and they don't learn boundaries, right? You want them to learn how to be normal humans so that when they go to someone else's house that maybe isn't kid-friendly, they know how to behave. So I do have a couple of things in our home that I have strategically placed that we show Sawyer how to use teach him how to be gentle and cross our fingers and hope that he learns how to be gentle and knows how to use them. The record player is one of those and I'll show you a little thing right behind you that is another option. Now down here I have another nativity um, and this I put here because Sawyer can like play with them. They are breakable so this could go very wrong for me but I do think so far he's learned how to play with them and we're learning how to respect mommy's nice stuff and how to be gentle. On this side, we have our little mail chute, which you know what's really funny, when we first moved into this house, we don't have a mailbox. And in California, you have a mailbox. I remember moving in here, texting our neighbors, being like, guys, where do you put the mail when the mailman comes? Like, we don't have a mailbox. And they're like, oh, you just like stick it through the flap. I'm like, oh, is that so dumb that I like couldn't figure out what I'm supposed to do with mail that I want to send? Anyway, so we have a basket that collects our mail and Santa, we send Santa mail. Is this not the cutest thing? Look at the stamps. Sawyer's not quite old enough to understand how cool and cute this is, but I found these at Target. Look at the backs of the envelopes. So cute. Okay, this one we got from Sarah in Wisconsin. Thank you, Sarah, for such a sweet gift. I love that it's glittery and it's shiny and it lights up. Sawyer can turn it on and off and it's just like a cool little special thing. You know when you're a kid, there's those little things you remember that your mom or your grandma had out. This is one of those things I think Sawyer will always remember and Brody one, one day too. And I think it'll be like a family heirloom that we have forever because it's so pretty and fun and magical. way we have the living room we have our main Christmas tree we had this tree here last year I absolutely love it again these trees are actually from balsam hill if you are looking for a new tree and you want a tree you're gonna use forever and you want a really great quality I really recommend balsam hill and here's the secret buy them in the summer because they put them on severe discount in the summer but these are the sanibal spruce trees they come with gloves they're pre-lit they're amazing obviously we add some special lights and stuff to them as you as you guys have seen in our christmas tree videos and i love adding family ornaments this is sawyer's footprint we're gonna add brody's footprint almost everything on my trees this year and last year were non-breakable that was a big focus for me because i want sawyer to enjoy our trees. I don't want him to abuse the trees, but I want him to enjoy being around them and I don't want to be nervous. So these are paper mache, these are felt, these are plastic, ribbon, metal, interactive. Really it's the sensory play. Now this is another one of those things that I was telling you. Teaches Sawyer how to be gentle, but also he can play with it and I'm hoping for the best that he doesn't destroy it because, you know, it's very delicate, but it's a tree. Oh. I will link this below. Um, it is the perfect size. You guys can see down here, we have these really cool um, tree collars that I got last year, and this fits perfectly around it. So if you do the tree collar thing, that is something you can know for sure it's gonna fit. I didn't know until I opened it up and set it up, and we were perfectly lucky that it worked out. So anyway, we have some Scout, come here. Come here, Scout. Can you say hi to everybody? Can I have a high, high five? High five. Oh, good girl. You should do a good girl. Okay, you can go. Bye-bye. Okay, my packages again, I kept them very neutral. This is kids construction paper, okay? But then we added this really beautiful topper. You could put this on a tree, you could put this on a garland, on a wreath, I put it on a package. But it's all very kid friendly and it feels organic and natural with like a little touch of Christmas magic. Let me show you something really cool. These are new. been in my bedroom. I 
haven't put them in here before because this room is all white and white chairs with the white sofa, it just is a lot of white. But during Christmas time, I bring in so much green that I thought it'd be fun this year to switch my chairs out. Okay, and then look at these little cute crochet trees. I have picked these up and put them back about 75 times a day because Sawyer loves to take them and throw the tops off, but hey, that's just what happens when you have an under two year old. We added some beads, tasseled beads. I'll link these below. I got this nice bowl at Target. Look at these adorable Christmas pillows. Okay, so these are from Modern Cottage. The tree pillow and the big Merry Christmas print pillow. They're so beautiful, they're so fun. Now this nativity is really special because we have a scene going on here. We have the whole crew, we've got the wise men, we've got Jesus, Mary and Joseph, and then we've got another piece of greenery here. Can you see Tyler? <laughs> and the barn scene, it's just like a whole backdrop and I love it. It's perfectly situated with this little angel guy watching over them. I actually think I got these at Hobby Lobby, but they're wood, so they're really fun. We did the greenery very similar as last year, but what we have this year is a new frame around our frame. So Tyler got me this frame for Christmas last year, so I didn't have it for my Christmas videos that I filmed in October last year, but I think it makes uh, the whole Christmas kind of come together. It looks so beautiful, and I switched my prints up on the frame TV. So this is the TV, and it's a piece of art, if you guys are familiar with the Samsung frame, and it just pulls the whole Christmassy vibe together for the year, so I think it's super fun. We added some new bells. They look very similar to the old ones from last year. They're a little bit more in antiqued, and they have a star cutout on the base of them. So these I got at Modern Cottage this year. I wanted this color last year, but I couldn't find them anywhere. If you want any style of bell for Christmas this year, go to her website because she has so many. If you guys are interested in any of the things that we use for Christmas, my main three places that I shop would be Modern Cottage, Shinoda, and I would say Hobby Lobby, for like small little things that pop up here and there. I'm gonna link that stuff below so you guys can remember, but I know I get so many questions on sources. And I forgot to tell you guys, the bears in the entryway, those are from Shinoda. I think they're gonna have them again this year. You guys sold them out last year. They don't usually have a ton of them, but they will ship them to you. So if you're interested in the bears, make sure you click those below and see if they have them ASAP because I know so many of you love the bears. Now I also decorated some connecting spaces in my home, kind of down the hallways and uh, in the back kind of entrance to our house. And then bringing in a different Christmas wreath, whether it's in the kitchen or in the back door or at the front door. Putting greenery wherever you can makes it super fun and special. Okay you guys, I hope that you loved this video. I hope that you're so excited for the holiday season. I know that we are so excited now to be a family of four family of five, including Scout. And we're just really excited for you guys to see all the videos that we've been working really hard on. I know you guys love our Christmas videos and we just love that you guys are a part of our online fam. Don't forget to answer, how many nativities did you see? There's a couple I actually didn't point out, believe it or not. And what did you notice that's different this year based on where I put it? Or if it appeared new for the first time you've ever seen it? Leave me your comment below. Okay guys, love you so much, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.